Hey everybody, this is Melissa. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome. And if you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate it if you would just take a quick second and click that subscribe button. And that way, you'll be the first to know when I upload a new tutorial. I'm so excited you're all here, so let's go ahead and get started. So today I'm in Excel, and I'm going to show you how to use the proper function. And what this function does is it goes through cells, and it capitalizes the first letter of every word within that cell. So I have a list here of names and numbers, and in the names, I've just randomly capitalized letters. So if I go to C2, and I go to my insert function, and I type in proper, just in case you don't have it within your most recently used, and go, and then OK, our function's argument box pops up, and that's basically Excel just saying, where do you want me to start? Well, we want it to start in A2. So go ahead and hit it and enter. And now as you can see, it's capitalized the first letter in each word. So let's go ahead and pull that down. And it's done it for every one that we've asked it to. Now we're going to copy and paste what's in C to A. So let's copy. Now watch what happens up here if I hover over regular paste. Mm. You get the equals proper and that awesome hashtag ref exclamation point. And basically what this means is we're trying to paste data into a cell that we've referenced within a formula, also sometimes called a circular cell reference, and we cannot do that. So what we want to do is we want to paste values only. And there it pastes your values only. So in our next data set, also known as a Melissa data set, when I enter data, I just type it all lowercase because in my head I can type faster. And then I'll use this function to go back and fix it. So that's why I call this a Melissa data set. So what we're going to do is the same thing. We're going to go to our insert function. And now it's in our most recently used, so I'm just going to pull it from there. Tell it OK. Click on E2. Enter, and it's done the same thing. It has capitalized the first letter of each word. Now we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to copy. Now, when we hover over our paste, Excel does learn to where it's like, oh, you've done this before. I know what you're trying to do. I err on the side of caution, especially if I'm dealing with formulas, and I always do paste values only because it may work on the first sets of cells or data, but you may get a little bit into your data and something go awry and it not work. And especially if you're dealing with calculations, I would recommend just always doing the paste values only when you're using anything like proper. So I'm gonna do that here. And now in cell L, I'm gonna do the same thing. I have data that's all capitalized. So it should just capitalize the first letter of each word and make the rest of it lowercase. So let's go to our function. OK. And we're going to tell it I2 and Enter. And we're going to take it down. And we're going to copy. Oh, see? Something happened in the formula somewhere. And I'm glad it did this just so you could see to where it's not going to paste the names. It's going to paste the numbers. So if we do paste values only, then it's going to paste what we've copied over here. And that's what we want it to do. So down here, I have a street address, 2225, your street, your town, California. So let's do our function. Tell it OK. And it's capitalized the Y and the S. And then if we go down here and do the same thing, insert our function, proper, OK. And tell it this and hit Enter. The Y and the T are capitalized. And that is how you use the proper function within Excel. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and get notified. 
and I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.